I'm giving you the definitive Team Star Kid breakdown. This is the final, never to be disputed list of shows from worst to first, or first to worst. And there are no bad Star Kid shows, so let's just get right into the list. A very Potter senior year. Guys, this is by far the best. Team Star Kid show there could ever possibly be. It's got heart, it's got humor, it's got funny songs, it's got sad songs, it's iconic. The book is inspiredly funny and very wacky and weird, and I'm kind of blanking on the word that I'm saying, but it's the best Team Star Kid. And at number two is a very Potter sequel. Yep, that's what it's called. Um, very Potter sequel. I mean, um, what's his name? Malfoy's father, Lucy. Lu, 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 lu. Wow, I am just terrible at speaking. Malfoy's father, Lucius. Lucius, I think I'm saying that right. Am I saying that right, guys? I'm saying that right. Um, fantastic, great casting. Score is awesome, very funny. Um, uh, Joe Walker as uh, Dolores Umbridge. Amazing, hands down, great casting, and it's just a great sequel, and like, it's memorable. It's like, I have um, watched that uh, sequel many times, and so should you. Coming in at number three is a party musical. Now I know what you're thinking, Mr. LaFraisia, all of these top three are party musicals. And that's because they are the best Team Star Kid musicals. It is their first musical. It is their, um, what's the word? Um, cause to fame, way to fame. And they're the best, um, written musicals and best produced musicals I think Star Kid has ever done. Memorable music, funny score, it completely does a 360 on all of these characters and makes Harry into this, like, uh, full of himself guy and Ron into, like, a bully and Hermione and Hermione. But still, these three shows are the best Team Star Kid shows, and there's no disputing it. Number four is Twisted, the untold story of a royal vizier. It's about Jafar. I think that, um, what's his name? Um, uh, Lynn Saunders, um, is great as Jafar. Um, the book, the score, it's very memorable. The score has some good tunes in it. I think the, the book is great. Um, it's very inappropriate, very, um, inspired and creative, and I, um, I remember watching this and thinking, wow, Star Kid, you know what you're doing. Coming in at number five is Holy Musical Batman. Oh, Holy Musical Batman. They go, Holy Musical Batman. I mean, come on, guys. It's, it's, it's iconic. It's iconic. It is literally going to be iconic nostalgia in 20 years. Tops. Um, I think that the score isn't as memorable, but there was a few highlight songs, including the dynamic duo, Dark Sad Lonely Night, the opening, um, that are just iconic and very memorable. And I think that the most well-produced, most well-written Star Kid songs ever. Um, and there's no, and there's really no disputing it. And I mean, um, you got Joe Walker's Batman. It's very, it's just a funny show. It's absurd. It's everything you want in a Star Kid musical. And at number six is Firebringer. I'm gonna say number six is Firebringer because I think that the music is very good. It's really funny. Um, female empowerment all the way. And um, I don't know what else to say. It's like, it's Firebringer. Coming in at number seven is Annie, a parody. I have um, most recently started listening to this um, album again, and I kind of almost watched the entire uh, musical. However, I think that this show is highly underrated. It's, a hi it's an underrated uh, musical. It's the definition of underrated musical. It's like, not even Great Common is that underrated. Well, it actually is. Coming in at number seven is The Trail to Oregon. Not the most memorable music, but I think it is very funny. I think it's like one of Star Kid's first like original musicals. Um, Jeff Blim did the music and um, I think, you know, um, it's just, it's very good. It's, it's not memorable in its score, but it makes up for it in its book. Coming in at number eight is the guy who didn't like musicals. Now, here's the thing about the guy who didn't like musicals. Everyone loved it, and I liked it. I didn't love it. I didn't get the hype for it. The only thing is Working Boys, and I love Working Boys. Working Boys is should be a musical in and of itself. I mean, and it became 
kind of a viral sensation. Um, and also Firebringer, I don't want to do the wood today, also became viral. But anyways, I think that the guy who didn't like musicals, it's a good show, but I don't think it's as memorable as I would have liked it to be. Coming in at number nine is... Mm, me and my, me and my thing. Uh, me and my thing was right there. Um, I actually never watched the entire show, but I think it's like super funny and it's very launchy. It's actually Stargate's first original musical. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't think the score is that memorable, but the whole concept, the whole idea is so absurd and inappropriate, and it, it just pulls it off tremendously. Coming in number 10 is... Starship. Um, not the most memorable show overall. Um, I think it's one of the more weaker ones, but the production design, um, and how much money and time and effort was put into this product amazed me. And, um, that's why it's at number 10. Coming in at number 11 is, um... Uh, I'm gonna say Black Friday. I think this, uh, was not the most memorable score. Um, it was definitely a lot more dramatic and less comedic, but I kind of like that they were doing that new uh, feeling to it. And ultimately, I feel like um, it's a very funny show, but I feel like it was it was missing that magic. It was missing that something, something that makes Star Kid shows go. That is my list of Team Star Kid shows. It's right there. Hope you enjoyed. Like, sub, comment, or do the reverse of that. I honestly don't care. And I will see you guys, hopefully, in the new year. Thank you. I'm just kidding. I'm not leaving YouTube, but I just thought it'd be a funny thing to buy.